Dude, how about the hand speed on this guy? Certainly good fighters feel like they can beat speed with timing and precision, but it's hard to get a beat on this guy. And with the punches and bunches and the combinations which keep on coming, a lot of guys are gonna succumb to that accumulation of punches. He's got the power to go with the speed. This guy, a five-tool player on the feet, but the hand speed certainly is what jumps off the film. This fighter has outstanding footwork. He is amongst the best in the world at changing angles and always being in a position where he can land against his opponent, but he's out of range of his opponent's counterattacks. So as this guy makes the walk, there's just something terrifying about guys with crazy hand speed. This guy certainly has it. Good fighters certainly know that at times they can beat speed with timing and precision, but in terms of those first exchanges, you gotta get a guy's timing down, and when it comes to this guy, that is easier said than done. This guy is a ground and pound expert. Look for him to try to get this fight to the ground where he can land thunderous blows from the top position. the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 126 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan, the chosen one. And now he his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 192 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Daddy. Where the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Are you ready? You ready? And we are on the way. He got oh. back there. Oh. oh, he might be out. Now a right hand. Oh! And he's looking for that left. Body kick, look at that. Switching stances here. Tags him. Huge block there. Oh! That kick from the southpaw position. He loves that. Left to the body. Battling for hooks. Got double underhooks. He pummels out of double underhooks. So nicely done with the trip there. And he's looking for an armbar. He's gonna extend the body. And he's got the arm. Any second now, he might have to tap that. And there it is. It. Great job in getting this fight to the ground quickly and getting an early submission. Yeah, Joe, that was quick, but can't say that we're all that surprised with this result here tonight. He said he didn't want to waste a lot of time. He wanted to be efficient, knew he wanted to get this fight to the ground and let his submission skills take over. Outstanding effort, even better technique here tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 1 minute 54 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an armbar. Big Daddy! Well, the celebration is on in the corner after the big submission win here tonight. He told us during fight week that he needed to prioritize a finish here. Decisions were not going to be enough to take his career where he wants to take it and expedition.